Hello, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to work on a little project. It's just a small one, but it was an idea that was inspired by uh, Sandra Wildermuth at Blossom and Inspire. And she has a YouTube channel and does some really creative things. And uh, let me get to the sneaky peek and then we'll get right back to this. I'll also try to find the video where I saw her do this. And I will link it in the description box below. So you'll be able to go right over there and check it out. All right. This is our next page uh, for the Sneaky Peaks. And it is just one of the pages from the digital uh, Shabby Seek Rose or something like that. I can't remember what I used in this book. But I think it's the same one I'm using in my Rose Journal over there. But it's the other side of that one page I told you was an extension where did I put that here we go so this lady is on that side of the page and that's on the other I debated with whether to make this the center page uh, of the signature but I changed my mind so anyhow this is what it is it's just another one of those ladies that pulls out the same um, pretty lace from Angela Kerr is on here from her lace digital or doily. I think it's a doily digital. Um, but yeah, it's just where you can write on the back. I've got tea dyed, uh, coffee dyed, whatever, <laughs> index card there. And that's all she wrote. That's all there is for this one. The pretty little girl gets uh, framed in there. You can see the little lace sticking out. If you pull it out a little further, it actually sticks out of the book if you want. And this was the mitered, cornered, um, washi tape <laughs> boy was that something okay <laughs> so let me turn the page for the next one. Oh, you got all kinds of stuff on the next one okay so sandra uh she took an envelope and she deconstructed it which i i'm using this for my little bird journal i'm getting ready to do and this was a piece of paper that i sprayed with some of my sprays and we're going to use part of that this is a little piece of stamperia i've got a couple of little birds from the birds and blooms uh, magazine my mother gave me and so we are <laughs> we we have i've disassembled this and you can see where the white pith or whatever just wouldn't let go um, now sandra's idea she took these two pieces hers was like vertical so she took these two pieces and bent them around to the back side and then she had these two pieces which in hers was a longer envelope they met so that was her belly band plus she had a belly band when she glued it to the page she only glued top and bottom went in that way my idea was to do the opposite direction so my two side pieces are actually going under and then I'm saving the two top pieces so this one will go this way and this one will go that way and I actually have one around here somewhere to show you hang on okay here's the one I did it it's for my rose journal so you can see I took and um I took the two flaps and put them down you can see them in here I glued them down and then I flipped around to the back side. Um, so that's that's the front, or that's the outside. So it was that way. So what I do is I'll take these and turn them around this way and glue them down. It adds strength to the top and the bottom. And then I will go and glue these two pieces together. But before I do that, I will cover them with this paper because it goes really well with the stamperia piece and um then my other two little guys may come into play and i've got a few little die cuts with leaves and twigs and stuff over here but yeah that's the whole idea here was you can have something go up and down in here now if you would needed to do a stop down here so something didn't slide all the way through because it may be a, a slightly loose <laughs> hole <laughs> You could do that, and then you're going to glue it top and bottom and have a belly band this way. So I have a belly band in two directions. 
uh, that was the idea of mine. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to... Yeah, I don't want that white showing, so i got to do it this way. <laughs> okay, so let me get in here. Glue this down. There we go. So just remember that you're gluing these backward. I guess it's the way to remember it. <laughs> If you're doing it my version now you might want to do it sanders version and um, i'm trying to remember which way she did hers um i thought she did keep it onto the piece to, to add stability as well so she did a really a great little belly band all right now you want to get all of that down because this is where you're you're going to be going up underneath of here with your item because it's a belly band. <laughs> so anyhow. All right. And we're not going to see this white at all because it's going down here. I only worry about this little weak edge right there. But we not, might not have to worry about it if I get up here far enough with this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and put it there. Buy me a pencil. And go in here with the pencil and just probably go all the way around I would I would usually leave a little bit of an edge so I can see the two edges or the the green and this one but I'm, I'm kind of afraid to on that one so if I'm doing the same thing I have to do the same thing on this end if I'm doing it on that end see what I mean all right, so we're going to go. This is going on this end. I'm trying to save as much of this paper as I can because I'm sure I'll use it for something else. Huh. Let me stick it right there. Yeah, I sprayed this with three or four different sprays. And got kind of an interesting uh, look the blue comes out because of the oxide certain ones of the oxide will give you that look and then you just cut your pieces out oops I cut that one a little wrong <laughs> if I didn't oh uh, thank you for coming to visit I'm thanking you now <laughs> You know me, I don't remember nothing. Oh, it only gets worse with age. Okay. We got that little piece taken care of. We're going to round this off here. Round that off there. Alright. I got to get in there and do me some coffee dye, tea dye, whatever dye, paper. <laughs> All right, I've, I've picked out peeled paint. I'm believing that is the color I would like to go with, especially, you know, getting in here and filling in some of these white areas and adding another color. I also thought maybe it would be one I could um, go around the edge with as well. Peeled paint, that's a really pretty color. It's one of the more popular ones. It's not a bright green. It's more of an olive green. And I thought that was the one that went best with this. Now, I believe what I'm going to do is get in here with Ground Espresso and do the edge of these. Because I'm not going to be able to see that with what I've got. I don't know if I'm going to be able to see this. I doubt, I doubt that I am. But I'm going to do it anyway. That little bit may show, because I don't think I cut this quite right. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if I'm not as exciting as I usually am. Um, I'm just tired. I got all those different things done for the shop. 
you think it'd be exciting if you sold stuff, but I just see it as more work. I shouldn't be looking at it in that, you know, context, but I think I need a break. <laughs> need a break. Okay. So what we're going to do next, I do want to do this top edge. I know I did that on the other one. Just so that other color gets in here. Okay. There. That will work. And then we're going to get in here with this one and do the edges of this. Yeah, just so they don't get washed out and you don't see them. There, yeah. That looks good. A little ground espresso for what ails you? <laughs> I used to go for the vintage photo a lot, but I think I like the darkers. I do like to gather twigs as well. Okay. Enough with the inking. Okay. There we go. That's done. Now, we're going to glue it down. And what I'm going to do first... Let's glue this piece here because the other one's coming over top of it. Did I did I cut it correctly? I can always cut off the edge, so we're just gonna glue it down and hope for the best. <laughs> Sometimes it's all you can do. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think how to do this book. And my cousin Phyllis, she gave me a beautiful little card, and I'm going to use that for my cover. But then some of the stuff I wanted to put in the book, I need to turn the other way, especially like the papers. When I dye these papers like that, I mean, not the way I did these, but when I hand dye them out of the sink and cook them in the oven, I don't want to be wasting them. So what I did... Is I found a way to use the whole paper. <laughs> like I said, that'll be explained in the in the flip through. Because <laughs> I doubt if I'll have any other videos on this. Alright, so that one's done. That's covered. And everything looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and glue this over here. I'll glue this here first maybe a little bit of that then we're going to glue that end I just don't want to go over my limit <laughs> and over glue you know all right let's make sure that didn't happen I saw some squish out so yeah we're good we're good now what we're going to do is glue this one down and I'm thinking my edges are a little short or wrong or something. So let me cut that just a little bit extra. Okay, now the glue in. Oh, I hope everybody has been having some good weather or good health, good prosperity, all those good things. I've got into a collaboration for July. <sighs> Trying to figure out if I'm going to be able to do what I need to do in it. <laughs> oh, I wanted to try one, so... I guess I'll be trying one. All right. We got that down. 
that's sealed as well as could be. That part's, some of that's going to be covered, so I don't need to worry about that. All right, I'll get in here and do another trim. Since I didn't cut it correctly. <laughs> All right, so we get back in here. Do this a little bit more. I should have just waited and did that at the end, shouldn't I? Okay, now it's going to go in our book like this. So say this is our page, and it's going to be folded like that. It's going to go on there right, right like that. So what we're going to do is we got this. It's going to go dead center, I believe. I'm still debating. Let me set this one here and find out. And what I'm going to do, I have it going in like that for my belly band. I'm going to then glue it down. I'll glue it down on the two long ends and I'll have a deep pocket. That's how I'm going to do it. You'll see it again. <laughs> but yeah, that will go there. And I'm debating on this little birdie. He's kind of cute. He looks like he's looking over. And I'm thinking I could cut the stick out in him and have him right there. Maybe I'll have him a little further over so the stick doesn't look like it's just <laughs> floating. <laughs> and then I had this little birdie. I think I like that little birdie. Because it looks, it'd be, yeah. <laughs> and then I have these little branches that I'll be putting on here. And I don't know if this one's too light. That one might be too light. I like this one's got pink in it because that's got pink as well. So actually that one may be going here. And I may stick that one there. All right, let me cut my little birdie out and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the one little branch down up here. And the way the little bird is, I'm going to have to have him about right here. I want him to look down here. And I want the branch to be able to go off, you know, <laughs> so it doesn't look like it's just hanging there. So let me see if I can get a hold of this. And I don't think I needed the glue out that far, but I went there anyway. And Ooh, I'm still learning the ins and outs of this art glitter glue. All right, I am going to put, <laughs> get some of that on my way. I'm going to put this here just in case that, that glue is going to try to, you know, go hairy carry with my piece here. Yep, that's about the right place. Get my little birdie on there. Dab at the excess. Okay. And try not to glue that down. All right. Let me get in here with my little trimmers. See if I can trim that out real quick. Okay. That did it. That did the trick. All right. Now what we need to do is get in here with this saying next only small things with great love it's got a little bird uh, egg in the nest so we're going to go right here with it what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of figure out where I need to be I need to go across here like right there okay I think that's Good, and then I can get back in here and fill in underneath if I need to. All right, so this one can go here where I'm covering up that little bit. Yep, that's good, that's good. I think I'm about centered, which is even better. <laughs> now I'm going to get in here and put some glue on this one and probably put it about right there 
that one little piece is kind of blunt anyway so let me see if I can get in here with a little bit of glue dot 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 don't need too much it weighs it down when you put glue on the little stems and leaves anyway like that one he's falling okay good enough now let me see okay right here i gotta cut cut some off i gotta cut some off that's all there is to it yeah kind of fades in but i'm all right with that <laughs> I do need to get a little bit more glue up under here because I don't really intend on putting anything else there. That side went down really well. This one needs a little bit more. Okay. Now, all we got to do is trim our leaves. And I believe she's done. I'm not going to put that other leaf on there, I don't believe. I don't need it. It kind of clashes. We'll save him for some other project. So I really thank all my subscribers and watchers for coming and seeing what I was doing today and checking out my newest addition to my little bird journal. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw and got a few ideas and give us one of these things a try. Let me get a little piece of paper and actually go under there and show you. Here we go. <laughs> if I haven't lost you, <laughs> it would go under here just like this. You would have a nice wide uh, journal card in there. And then the way I'm going to uh, glue it down, I'm going to make it a pocket. It's not going to be a belly band this way. So it's going to stop about right there. But yeah, I thought that that actually works better for a belly band, to tell you the truth. Because this will hold it right there. So anyhow, I hope you gave you some ideas. Uh, everybody have a great, great day. Bye-bye.